We booked in, we have no idea where we're going, and we have an envelope. I feel like we have to open up the envelope now and find out where we're going, but where do you think we're going? I swear this is always the funnest bit, not knowing at all where you're staying. Where are we going? Okay, I still can't <laughs> believe it. Jess, what are we doing? <laughs> Do you know how hard it has been to not open this envelope all week? Guys, welcome to part three of our Be More Spontaneous series. So if you're just tuning in, our goal for 2019 was to be a bit more spontaneous with our travel. So earlier this year, we did a surprise trip to Asia where we literally had an envelope, opened it up at the airport and found out that day where we were going. The second one, we went to Europe and we let you guys control where we went. You pick which country, where we stayed, what we ate. So much fun. So now we are so excited to announce part three of this series. So we asked you where we should do our third episode and so many of you said do it in the US. Hey Jess, hey Steven. So I know you're in the US and I know you miss your girl. So why don't you come visit me in Michigan? I'll show you around the Mitten State. If you guys ever make it out to the east coast of the United States, I highly recommend going to Newport, Rhode Island. I would really like if you uh, compared some street foods from the east side and the west side. You should come to Charlotte, North Carolina. You should definitely come visit Tucson, Arizona. You have to go to New Orleans. I'd love to see you in Florida because I visited and it's insane. So we did some Googling and we found a company called Fly Nimbus. And the reason we got excited is they do three day surprise trips for as little as $250. That is so cheap. So we jumped on their website. Okay booked our trip in three days from LAX and now they're asking what type of trip we want so I've done food I've also picked go exploring and see if we can find some locals it's just so exciting because we've only done like 10 of the 50 states here in America we booked in we have no idea where we're going and we have an envelope and we've been told that you can actually open it up two days before but we are trying to save it to the very last minute. So we're actually flying out tomorrow. It is currently 6 p.m. And the reason we're opening it now is because what if we fly in the morning? We could miss our flight. So I feel like we have to open up the envelope now and find out where we're going. But where do you think we're going? Oh, I have no idea. I'm thinking like Louisiana or like Charleston or somewhere. We've never been before. Okay, so I'm thinking of the other side. So I'm thinking it could be like Arizona, Montana kind of area. But oh, wow, is it time? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I think it's fine. I'm like, sweaty already. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, where's it gonna be? Wait, wait. I'm like shaking. Oh my gosh. It's so fun. He's a so I'm scared much I'm gonna see something first. Okay, just close your eyes then. Okay. Where are we going? Wait, they get to see first. Okay, like okay, okay. Eyes. I'm trying to close my eyes. <laughs> I'm destroying this. Where are we going? Okay, 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 okay. I'm pulling out something. I'm shaking. Where is it? Where I don't know it? yet. I'm not Open looking. It up. Austin, where have you heard? Texas, because I've heard of Houston. Austin, oh my gosh, we're going to Texas. That is so cool. We've also found out that we are leaving tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I'm so glad we've opened this now, but I think we need to get some sleep and we'll see you guys tomorrow at the airport. It is 12 hours later and we just arrived at the LAX airport. We just checked in, we're flying American Airlines, we have never flown them before and in three hours time we will be in Austin. Grab your map and your traveling cab and your thrift Awesome, thank you. Ah, so excited to go to Texas. Still can't believe it. Three hours and a few hour time zone differences and we should be in Texas. Welcome to Austin, everybody. So excited because I've already seen four cowboy hats. And we're only really now just leaving the airport. It is way hot down here in uh, LA. So I think we've worked out that there is a local bus and for only $1.25, it'll take us straight into downtown, which is perfect. So it looks like Fly Nimbus has actually booked us into an apartment, not a hotel. We're about 20 minutes out of downtown and I think it's one of these spots. I swear this is always the funnest bit, not knowing at all where you're staying, what it looks like, nothing. There it goes. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Steve, go through first. Oh wow. This place is huge. Oh. 
There's cowboy hats on the walls and we have an entire kitchen. Okay, this is like way better than what I was expecting. The cowboy hat, Steve, look! We're in Texas! <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, Steve, this is so cool! There's like a skull on the, on the bedroom wall. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, look at this bathroom. This um, apartment is huge. Oh, there's washing. <laughs> I love it, you get excited. <laughs> oh, that comes back through to the kitchen. This... I'm so excited. Steve, have you seen this? Oh, what? Some country music? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we That's listening so to? Cool. I don't know. Spoons. Spoon. So cool. Alrighty guys, we've all freshened up and I've just had a Google and I've found the perfect place to go and have our first meal here in Texas. You're so worried about what other people think. You stop standing on your own two feet. Spend time in the real meal. So we've come down a road and it's literally lined with really cool restaurants and food trucks. Literally each restaurant looks like it's just someone's house, someone's traditional house that they've turned into a restaurant. There's this one here, got like that one over there, this one here. It's such a cool street. But the spot we are going to is called Banger Sausage House and Beer Garden and it's basically this big outdoor beer garden that serves sausages and it has live music and so many choices of beer and I feel like this is like the perfect way to start our time here in Austin. Guys, this place is so busy since we're currently waiting 20 minutes for a table but you can actually sit inside and grab a drink while you're waiting and before when I said that there are a couple of beers available, there are 202 beers to choose from. We've gone for like a sweet cider and there's also 20 sausages to choose from. So yeah, cheers Steve. Cheers Bobs. here in Austin. I had a little Google and supposedly people say that Austin is the place that invented the term breakfast taco and there are so many places that you can go. We've actually come to Taco Deli only because they have the Jess special. So I was like okay I need to have that as my first breakfast taco and it's basically, is it migas? I've never heard of it before. I think it's like a bean thing so it's migas, cheese, egg. I feel like this vlog is just going to be us eating some good southern food. Oh, <laughs> I think Austin has amazing food. Here we go, first ever breakfast taco. Mm. That is so good. Eggy and avocado. I've also not gone for the Jess special because that was would have been a bit weird, but I've also gone for a breakfast taco as well. So we've pretty much been using public transport the entire time that we've been here in Austin on the exact same ticket we bought at the airport yesterday and it was $2.50, we went for 24 hours. So over the few days we're here, we're literally going to spend $5 on transportation, which is so good compared to how much we were spending in LA just a couple of days ago. So we've caught the bus out to Barton Spring Pools and the reason this place is so popular, like literally, it is absolutely packed right now because it's a three acre natural spring. So this entire pool is filled by natural spring water, which means that constantly all year round, it is always 20 degrees Celsius. So I think we need to jump in and cool off because Austin is hot. Especially this time of year. Woohoo! That is so nice and refreshing. <sighs> Look how big this is. Living in the sand and the sea, California's been good for me, but I got other plans. Oh, and so I'm gonna up my This is a fire in my heart, feel the heat of fire, stars are keeping running down around the road. I just love how we can go from the busy city of LA and then the very next day with 
had no idea that we would be here currently swimming in a natural pool in Texas. Wow. This spontaneous series that we've been doing, I think it's my new favorite. They're just so much fun when you have no idea where you're gonna be. We've decided to pick up a couple of bikes and we're gonna go for a little cycle around the city. Well, I travel this country for a living to get by. Sounds good. Oh, this like tops that. Oh my gosh. This literally hits the spot. Jess like ordered the ultimate ginger drink. Guys, check out Juice Land. Wow. <laughs> what I drink it all. What have you ordered? So you can't come to Austin and not go to at least one food truck while you're here. And I think Jess has found the best kind of food truck. Look at all these difference. The mother clocker, we got the fat Elvis, squealing pig. But of course we're sticking with the name theme. We did the Jess special taco and now we're doing the nutty Valentine. <laughs> I just love how it's just a converted Airstream into a food truck. Literally is everything big in Texas. Look at the size of this thing. I'm sure I'm making it look so beautiful. Oh my gosh. You're gonna watch me eat this. <laughs> Love me a nutty Valentine. <laughs> We ended up having to go back to our room to have a shower and freshen up because we spent all afternoon cycling through downtown and we got very hot and sweaty. Very sweaty. <laughs> but uh, we've been loving Austin. Like this Love it. city is so beautiful and so green and clean as well. Like, I feel like it's really livable. Like yes. you could imagine living here. It's so nice and the people are so friendly. I've had so yes. many people compliment on my hat. I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, I've heard rumors about the South and their friendliness and everyone has been super friendly to us. We are now wanting to head out and grab some dinner and we loved the breakfast taco so much that we now want to go to another taco place to try like a proper original taco here in Austin. So for dinner, we've come up to a place called Torchy's Tacos. And when I had a Google, it looks like this is one of the most famous taco places here in Austin. It actually started off as a food truck and now there are restaurants all through the city. We've ordered a bunch of tacos and salsa and tortilla chips. And oh, I actually am loving the food here in Austin. That sucks, salsa is spicy. <laughs> So the tacos have arrived, gone for a shrimp gourmet one, gone for a vegetarian one. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. You need to eat up because the next activity, which I found online, we're going to need a bit of energy for. Jess, what are you doing? Ready? <laughs> 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 I was going to the camera. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I was like, oh. Cameras out. <laughs> worse. Good job. You took the pressure like a champ. I want you to love me, baby. I want you to see. My heart is afraid. What are we doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, my arms hurt so much. <laughs> that was so much fun. We decided to go and do some axe throwing. I didn't even know you could do that until Stephen found it. And he was like, this could be like a cool little date night. I was like, Okay, it's way harder than it looks, by the way. Oh yeah, and um, it was BYOB, so you know, drinking beer and throwing axes <laughs> is just the recipe for a perfect oh, date night. Ready. I've never been so sure, quite so steady. I'm gonna live my life to keep 
We are now back at the Austin Airport. Really enjoyed our time here in Texas. Seriously, we need to explore more of it. There's so many more cities just in the state and there's so many other states in the south we want to go and explore, but we might go see another one very soon. <laughs> if you guys are new around here and you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you very soon. Bye! Bye. That thing is as big as you! <laughs> wow!